what's going on YouTube, I'm Alex and today I'm going to talk to you about video stabilization. So the cameras in our smartphones got really really good over the past few years so now you can really take some decent pictures and uh, some decent footage. So basically when you're going to film something you're just going to hold the phone as steady as you possibly can and just turn around. What happens if you're walking? Well the video is going to look kind of like this. So yeah it's not the best uh, looking video out there. So what can we do so we can have like steady filming even when walking? Well you can get one of these gimbals, this is a 3 axle gimbal, this particular one it's called the LAN party gimbal. You can put a GoPro on this, you can put any smartphone. So what does this do? Basically this is gonna hold the phone steady even uh, when you're walking. So as you can see the phone is sitting in the exact same position even though I'm moving my hand and uh, so on. So this makes a big difference uh, when you're filming uh, while you're in a car, while you're moving and so on. So let's take a look at this awesome gimbal. So this is the LAN Party HHG01. It costs about 400 bucks or so, it depends where you get it. Uh, I got this particular one from Amazon and I left the link in the video's description. So what do we get in the box? So we have a quick manual, I haven't actually read the manual, I just opened it, I kind of figured it out myself. However, this is not the first uh, gimbal that I had. So it's uh, very very straightforward. Uh, you do get some uh, very quick instructions uh, here how to use the weights if you're using an oversized phone so I am using an oversized phone so basically if the phone is longer on the left than on the right you're just gonna put some weights so you can balance uh, the phone into the gimbal alright so let's see what, uh, what comes in here so we have the battery here this is a 1500 milliamp uh, battery at the bottom here we just have um, some LEDs that will show you how much uh, charge the battery has. I was able to get about 70 minutes, so over an hour uh, of use and then I got it to the last uh, LED. So basically it was under 25%. So I'm guessing uh, you'll get an hour very very easily. You can probably get like an hour and a half uh, if you don't like turn it on, off, on, off and uh, so on. Alright, so we do get a bracket for a GoPro. I'm not gonna use a GoPro, GoPros, I don't know, they're like not my thing anymore. Uh, we do get a second weight, so depending what uh, phone you get, uh, you're gonna add more weights uh, onto the thing here, onto the metal, so it keeps this uh, balanced basically. Aside from that, we just get a little key, this one right here. Uh, this key is used so you can change uh, the clamp. It comes with two clamps. This one is for smaller devices and this one is for bigger devices. Uh, since I'm using a Note 5, I put the bigger one. Uh, it's easier to slide the phone in and out. However, they extend quite a lot so you can put like a really, really big uh, phone. Even with the small one, I was able to fit my Note 5 in. So. Uh, yeah, there are two clamps, you're only gonna put one depending what uh, phone you're gonna use. It comes with one of these, so you can carry the box around. Speaking about the box, it's a really awesome box. has a little handle here and you can put this uh, around here so you can carry the box easier. So yeah, it is a rather large box. It comes with a charger. This is the charger for the battery and this comes with the three adapters. So you get like an uh, UK adapter, you get a European adapter as well, which is very difficult to take out. So depending where, uh, where you are in the world, you can just change uh, the adapters. Currently I'm using a North American uh, adapter. So you would take this and you would charge the battery. It takes a while to charge the battery, about two hours and a half or so. So uh, keep that in mind that uh, it will take you a while to charge the battery. However, it's a 1500 milliamp uh, battery. And that's basically what we get in the box. Alright, so how does this work? Well, it's uh, very straightforward. You're going to take your phone. 
the clamp is gonna slide open just slide the phone all the way um, as close to that edge as you can I've put one weight on because the phone is not overly heavy with your weights you should make uh, the phone stay kind of even so in an even position so you don't put that much pressure onto the gimbal like the motors the gimbal has three axles so it can rotate that way this way and this way so no matter what movement you're gonna make uh, you're gonna keep it steady right so after uh, you put that on you're gonna insert the battery which is super easy to insert it's gonna take uh, the gimbal a couple of minutes or so till it stabilizes and now it's steady so I have the gimbal on at the moment so this is what uh, happens so basically you're gonna keep it towards you like this and when you move left right and so on it's gonna keep the gimbal kind of steady the phone steady so no matter what you do the phone is gonna stay steady so it is uh, it is better to have a three axle gimbal than a two axle gimbal because you can move in more uh, more directions and the phone is gonna stay as steady as uh, you move so I'm gonna show you some footage now um, with the phone without the gimbal and uh, with the phone with the gimbal on and you're gonna see what a big difference uh, the gimbal makes while filming something alright guys so I have the gimbal uh, on I'm filming with my Note 5 so I'm just gonna walk straight holding the gimbal in my uh, hand so you can have an idea how uh, the video it's made if it's shaking and uh, if not so I'm walking quite fast I'm not sure if you can uh, see how uh, it shakes now I'm gonna turn it to the right and left so I'm walking again and I'm gonna go left So basically the gimbal will uh, adjust uh, the position of the phone uh, however I'm walking so it uh, sits straight all the time. And now I'm gonna be turning around and walk the same way uh, that I came. In the intersection there uh, I'm just gonna sit there and uh, turn around left and right so uh, we have an idea how it is uh, when you turn it around all right so I'm gonna be turning it uh, slowly around and one more time towards the other way and now I'm gonna be walking backwards where I came from alright so now I'm holding the phone in my hand and I'm gonna walk to the end of the street so I have an idea and a difference uh, and see a difference uh, between holding the gimbal and holding the phone in my hand so I'm walking as you can see the image it's uh, kind of shaky and uh, the note 5 that I'm using has uh, some type of uh, image stabilization okay I'm gonna turn left and I'm uh, still uh, walking and I'll turn around and here I'm gonna do the exact same movement I've done before like turning uh, around alright now I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing but I'm gonna run to the end of the street so right now I'm like running
and still running. So that's uh, how it is uh, when you run. All right, so now I'm holding the phone in my hand uh, and I'm just gonna run to the end of the street so you can see a difference uh, between running holding the stick and running uh, without holding the stick. Alright, so uh, you've definitely seen uh, the difference there. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in a bit. How about filming from the car? Let's see how good it does uh, while the car is shaking and so on. This is how uh, the footage uh, looks while I'm driving and obviously the car is shaking uh, from the road. Holding uh, the stick as steady as uh, possible. Right, hopefully you found this uh, footage helpful. Now that you've seen uh, what the difference in the footage uh, is, uh, yeah, this is an awesome, awesome gimbal. I mean, um, your videos are never going to be the same uh, again. They're always going to be steady and uh, they're going to look much, much better. So, yeah, this is except from the price because it's an expensive gimbal, uh, no matter how you want to put it, because it costs almost as much as a smartphone these days but yeah, it does some uh, awesome things you can run with it you can drive with it you can do anything you want uh, basically thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe